<laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a good day, I can tell. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Will. This is White Bison Outdoors and today is episode five of Fishing the Mountains. We are going to be at a place that I can foresee as being one of my top uh, five spots. I know last week we said we we're going to be at Lake James again and we did go out there but we more or less got skunked. We only got three or four fish out of an eight hour day and it was just it was bad. Uh, so you'll see some of those in our shorts, but today I want to bring my first excursion down to the Tuck. If you don't know what that is, that's the Tuckasegee River uh, that winds its way through the western uh, mountains of North Carolina. And it's an awesome, awesome river as I'm going to find out. And you saw those first couple clips in the beginning. I think I caught 12, maybe 13 trout throughout the day. Uh, three of them within the first 10 minutes of me just being there, all in one spot. It was an easy access. You can see here is right off the road and you can almost just step down into the water. So it's super easy, super easy place to get into. And uh, you can walk it. I had hip waders on. Only one or two spots was I uh, in danger of maybe getting over the, my limits. I did fall in this time for the first time ever. Uh, the, the waders I have are not felt bottom or anything. They're just basic rubber boots. So you have to be careful on the black slick rocks. The rest of them are pretty, you know, it's pretty decent on most other stuff, but anything that's that black color using on the very front running edge of the, uh, the falls, that's going to get you. And it got me. I had to go to Walmart, get some socks, some dry socks, kind of get dried out. And I went right back at it and caught a few more after lunch. So it was a great time. Here are the videos and hope you enjoy. Yeah fog on the valley it's a good sign it's cold up here hopefully that's taking the temperature of the water down a little bit but there's definitely interaction happening look at this idiot he was tailgating people on the way and he got mad because he got stuck <laughs> oh, i love it all right here we go all right his first cast there are, well, I'm right beside the road, so you will hear noise from that. And my fan, my hands are freezing. It is a little cold out this morning. All right, it's looking good. First catch of the day. Uh, probably 10 casts in, and we got ourselves a little brook trout. Perfect. Look at him. Get him in some water before he freaks out. There you go, buddy. Oh, man. There you go. You got your hook off. You're good. Get that hook out of there. There we go. Man, right off the bat, right off the road. Beautiful little brook trout. All right, buddy. Oh, gosh. There you go. I would have let you go better than that, but I guess you were in a hurry to get somewhere. Beautiful. Well, that's a good sign. This is gonna be a good day, I can tell. All right, buddy, don't hurt yourself. There we go. All right, so right off the bat, we've had a brook. Now we have feisty, feisty little rainbow. Come on, buddy, let me get this out of your jaw. All right, all right, there she is. Number two of the day, been here about 10 minutes. All right, come on, enough of that. I'll let you go in a second. Beautiful little rainbow. And there he goes. 
All right, so we know they're here. What I want to know is if there's a really big one in here. Let's find out. Rick. It was a little cold out here. Got my hands in that water to get those fish off. and It's a little cold. All right, let's see if we can get in this hole over here to my right, see what they got. You can't even throw a hook out here without snagging something. It's almost too easy. Oh, that's a fat rainbow. Come on, buddy. I got you. Whew, that's a big boy. Here we go. All right. Here's a rainbow. Another one. A big boy here. It's pretty fat. All right, here you go. Here you go. I'll let you go. There you go. All right, so we did pretty good in the first, like, five minutes. Caught three, three uh, trout, one brook, two rainbows, one big fat rainbow. Camp here, get a cup of coffee, warm my hands up a little bit, switch out some stuff. Put my forceps on so i can get these hooks out a little bit better a little bit easier on the fish i think i'm going to push the barb down i usually do when i'm catching release it's just easier on them and easier on me because i have to be better at pulling them in so i don't lose them Another day, another rainbow. There she is. There she is. Nice and easy now. I got that barb down, huh? There we go. You want to sit here for a second? Okay, good. Beautiful little rainbow. All right, here you go. You can go breathe again. All right, we're gonna see if I can move across this river without dying. I'm trying to fish the opposite side. These little falls here, there's a ton of fish below this, so it's a good spot. Piece of trash. Literally immediate hit. I didn't even, I didn't even spin the thing and it was a good hit. I think that was a brown. That was a big brown, too. I should have left... should have left this reel on my heavier rod for this river. I'm used to doing those little tiny creeks. And he chased it, and I saw him chase it down. It was a smaller one. That was a bad cast. That's not where I wanted it to go. Gosh. Gotcha. Right, what we got now? Oh, there we go. We got all species today. 
We got a brown rainbow brook. This is the first brown of the day. Hey, look at them teeth you got, boy. There we go. That's what it looks like. A little brown. Definitely not the one I was looking for, but hey. There you go, buddy. The bigger one hit me earlier. Hopefully I can find him again. Got him. Come on, boy. Oh, boy, he's going to try and get it out of his mouth. The rainbows are feisty. Oh, he's a little one. Oh, boy, get in there. All right. What we got here? Put him in the water a little bit. There he is. I think it's fifth or sixth catch of the day. So, not too bad. Come on, get out of the net, buddy. Golly. I don't know if you can see him. Probably can't. But, uh... There's probably 10, 15 brook trout, browns, rainbow, whatever. They're just sitting here in front of me. But they are done with this lure. It seems that the more light comes up, um, the more they can get a, a good look at the lure. They'll chase it, but they won't eat it. So I might have to switch up what I'm using. Took my first fall today. Just fell in. My left boot got some water in it. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh, that was not cool. That hurt a little bit. Not gonna be. Not gonna lie. Gosh. All right. I'm back. Got some dry socks, got a bigger lure. Let's see if we can get a giant out here. All of them chased it. A lot of drag. There we go. Well, that was unfortunate. He got buried back in his jaw. Took a little bit to get out. There she is again. We got another brown. All right. Well, that's a good size brown right there. Swim a little bit, get his breath, catch his breath. All right, all right, here we go. Beautiful brown. Here we go. There she is, man. They're hopping out here now. Come on, buddy. Get back here, folks. Gotcha. Not the big one, but I got him something I guess I gotta get that big one out of there what we got now come on buddy you must be a rainbow boy you're acting nope not a rainbow but you're a good fish so I'm gonna take this hook out of your mouth it'll be even better fish alright let's swim a little bit 
is. Okay. So, beautiful. Beautiful little fish. All about the same size up here, unfortunately. I'm trying to find a big one, but we'll do. I don't know if you can see that. There's one of the giant salamanders, the hellbenders. That's sick. Let's see if I can go into water with him. Last catch of the day is a rainbow. Get over here without falling and dying. All right, probably last catch of the day. Beautiful little rainbow. Another 12 incher probably. It's feisty. He must go home. Here we go. There you go. Yep, got you again. Come on, boy. There she is. Another rainbow. All right, another beautiful rainbow. There we go. Well, I lost another lure in a tree. Don't really know how since it was like 15 feet above the water. I was trying to cast across the creek. Just did not work out like I wanted it to. But I need to get out of here anyway, so that's gonna do it for this. All right, that's the episode for today. I hope you really enjoyed that. Uh, I plan to be back on the tuck again this coming week in a different area. I'm looking at a place where the gorge is. Hopefully, uh, I can get a, a area that's not uh, pressured as much. There where I was at, there were uh, guides floating through on their boats and uh, a couple of people fly fishing either end of me. And so I just kind of held my little spot there in the middle. And I drug out way more than anybody around me. So I don't know if it's just because they've been fly fished so much that they know what those are. And uh, most people don't spin fish those areas. So maybe I just had a new thing, but I pulled out as I said, 12, 13, whatever you saw there in the video. And nobody around me I saw pull out one, except for one guy, and I was turning around after coming back from Walmart. He's pulling out a good-sized trout down the far end by the bridge. But, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, rooster tails are, are the key. And really what I've found uh, to be the best are the black and golds and the brown and golds. And they only seem to really work when it's dark, so in the morning or in the shadows. When they have uh, sun over top and real clear vision, they don't work that great. Um, so I've had to switch up some things. The brown one obviously begins to work better as the more light there is. The black and gold one work good in the morning. That's what I found so far. So you can take that as you know you want. So that's going to do it for me. Again, I'm Will. This is White Bison Outdoors. Keep it clean. Keep it open. And remember. Adventure always favors the bull.